how's it going? How's it going, everybody? Oh, hear those beats. Hey, TCG, how's it going? Are you doing a big party of 16 peeps? How's it going, everybody? In case you don't know who I am, I'm Visages. I'm a Riot streamer from Edinburgh and Girl Scotland. And uh, currently, we've been going throughout the Soulsborne series. Sean Bell from TCG says that I look like him. I don't see it. I, I like. I don't. I don't think I look a lot like Sean. Is that what Sean thinks? Does Sean actually think that? That's that's crazy. That's crazy talk. Anyway, how how was? Yeah, really. Fucking hell. Yeah, I don't see it. I need to have a wee word with Sean. See, I, the thing is, like, I'm nowhere near as stunning as Sean. Sean's a good-looking dude. I ain't that. I ain't that good looking as him. Hey, Space Worm Crouchy, how's it going? How are you feeling? Like, I mean, it was maybe about ten minutes ago since I last spoke to you. Hey, Tats, how's it going, man? Um, also, uh, Sean, if you're in the chat, what were you playing? Who raids already? It's just my face. It's just my face. Uh, hold on. Out, uh, out. Dude, shh. Choices. Stories you play. I have no idea what that is. I have no idea what that is. Uh, tell me about it. Tell me about it. You don't want to know what. Oh, apparently you're playing choices, and it's stories that you play. That you play. No, that no one else plays. It's what you play. Um. Pure smut? Fucking hell! Right, I need to make a note of that game <laughs> for research purposes only. And uh, Space War Crouchy was of course playing Uncharted 4 A Thieves End, um, which I was just watching actually. I forget how good looking that game is, especially the lighting and stuff, but it's, it's typical, it's typical um, Naughty Dog polish isn't it it just looks really really nice because like um in case you haven't played it like space worm was at the bit where like you're with it and i can't i won't say anything because it might be spoilers and um, like you're in a cave that is non-spoiler there's lots of caves in it but like i'm um, having a torch and stuff and the sight like, seeing the light come through the cartilage and the ear and stuff i was like i forgot about that really fucking good shit i spent the last few minutes trying to figure out what was wrong with the audio because you're dead quiet headphones plugged in it's fucking Monday. Hey, ba 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 ba! Monday is getting everybody. Southie, how's it going? Southie's on holiday, everybody. He's on holiday. That means they can party with the the lads. Uh, you always remember being amazed by the snow and then try to. Yes, I was also uh, amazed with the snow, and I was even amazed with Uncharted One when like you what? dipped into He's water on my toes for soup. and like the water. You would see your clothes get wet and they would dry over time and stuff. It's really fucking cool. Bye, 2 and thank you very much for continuing continuing your top shagger status. Isn't you tell someone that they are a cunt. Four months, four months in a row that you have remained an official top shagger. Thank you very much for your support, man. It legit means a fuck ton to me. Isn't you also, tell someone that they are a cunt. We've got ourselves a, a, a mini cunt train coming in here. Also, Kitsune, thank you very much for the most lovely person. Yeah, Sean made it. Also, Sean says that I kind of look you like him. Tell someone that they are a cunt. Which I don't see. <laughs> because I'm nowhere near Didn't as beautiful you? as Sean. Tell someone that they are right, this is not a mini country coming in. This is a full blown country coming in. Let me just catch Didn't up with you? it. Tell someone that they are a cunt. Nielsen, you are indeed a fucking cunt. Thank you very much for spending 500 glass checks, pal. Hope you're doing very, very well. David H, you're a fucking cunt as well. Don't you forget about it. Tell someone that they are a cunt. It's, it's, it's carton stuff, innit? It's carton stuff, innit? Uh, Ryan Essler, you're a fucking cunt as well. Congratulations on getting the affiliate as well, pal. Um, Cause I don't think I congratulated you. I could I said that your emote was good, but I never congratulated you on getting uh, affiliate. Cause I'm daft. There you go. You're a cunt. 
Back since 86. Hope you had a lovely weekend, pal. We are fucking cunt. Did you did you scud any neighbours with frozen chicken? Uh please let me know. Hey, Sophie, hope you enjoy your holiday, you fucking cunt. Busy Greenwood. Tell someone that they are a cunt. You're a fucking cunt as well, pal. Thank you very much. It's Tats. Thank you very much, pal, for being here. You're a fucking cunt. Tomageki, you diabetic fucking cunt. <laughs> Thanks very much. Uh, illogical hell, how's it going, dude? Hope you had a lovely weekend. You're a fucking cunt. Jimron here. Jimron, we're getting our, we're getting our, we're getting a house tomorrow. Fingers crossed. Anyway, on Final Fantasy XIV, they're adding housing to, they're adding more houses. Me and Jimron have a plan. We're going to get ourselves a house. It's going to be amazing. But you're a fucking cunt. It's tats. You're you're a cunt again. You're a double cunt. You're a double down cunt. Hurricanes. You and your whole family are fucking cunts. <laughs> Thanks very much for being here, pal. It's just bullying now. Ah, but you keep coming back though, don't you? Also, Sig is six months. Easy Jews. <laughs> Tell someone that they are cunts. Six months since uh, that Sig has been. Fucking six months. I don't have enough fingers on a hand to count that now. Thank you very much for supporting me for six months, Sniggins. Um Taking me under your wing. Fucking. Everyone check out Snuggins. Everyone probably already follows Snuggins, but thank you very much. And uh, I'll bite your banger once lockdown, once COVID leaves and stuff. Your banger's well and truly getting bitten. Uh, Space Worm Crouchy. You're a fucking cunt, pal. Thank you very much for being here. And thank you very much for the raid. Also, Sean, thank you very much for the raid as well. By bringing the lovely TCG community over to this shithole of a stream. Will this house have two doors as well, Southie? No. I only have one house, one door, one front door, modelled after the one front door that I have here, pal. Alright? Covid will never leave, this is life now. I mean... So, basically, you're not getting your banger bit at all, son. Maybe I can give you a digital biting of the banger. Let's go over to Stream Raiders and let's kick start off with trying to go for a gold chest. Calvo Swag is, how's it going, dude? Hope you're very, very well. How's the rats? Calvo Swaggins and his lovely uh, partner, they went and got themselves four rats. Four rats. Rats! They got themselves four rats and they're fucking adorable. And I really want to see them, but I can't. They're so damn cute. I've seen the. I've seen the Digital banger dot bite. <laughs> uh, I've seen the video of just you just like with one of them in your hand and you're just like just clapping its head and it looks the best. There's a rat in my kitchen, what am I gonna do? Uh, you just pick it up, be pals with it. You definitely don't scud it with a frying pan. Uh, that's Remy, so Remy's like the grey haired one, which makes sense because Remy is grey haired. Oh, fucking hell. Get me fellies. Anyway, how was everyone's weekend anyway? Did you just get up too much? I went and seen a uh, tenant. Uh, wait, a little chef. I just, we just a wee chef. Just make it cook some food. So yeah, we went to the cinema for the first time in, since uh, the apocalypse happened. And uh, very, very impressed with how the cinema was all laid out. Very limited seating and stuff. The hit movie, Tenant. Uh, Tenet. How is it you pronounce it? It's te I keep he hearing people mispronounce it a lot, including myself. It's Tenant. Uh, it maybe sounds like I'm saying another N next to the T towards the end, but I'm I'm really not. Uh, it maybe just be my accent. Tenant. 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 Fucking. What it is. It's not a good film, folks. <laughs> Fucking. Calvo, you said it was a really good film. I was going into that expecting it to be amazing. I was, uh... I was not impressed. I was not impressed. Hey, like Tenet. That's what I'm saying. Tenet. David, what's his name? Tenet. That's what I'm saying. It's fucking anti-Scottish. Right. <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to fuck off the tunes. We're going to play some Dark Souls, folks. Because we're in a fucking shithole of an area. Uh, what did I like about it? There was a lot I didn't. There's there was a lot I didn't like. There was very very little that I liked about that film, unfortunately. 
was, which I was really, really upset because I, I like, I like uh, Christopher Nolan films. Um, you weren't. <laughs> Thanks, Scientologist. Um, yeah, I like a lot. I like. I've got a lot of time for Christopher Nolan and his stuff. All of you heard is bad things. I've heard good things about it, and um, I've heard a lot. I I've heard a lot of good things, but I've heard a lot more bad things about that film. But here we are, folks. Back to this fucking place. Um, but yeah, I I found the characters weren't interesting at all. Um, like the love interest was very flat. I found the characters were very very flat. Bob's it is Bob's sleigh time yet again. Uh, the characters were very very flat. There wasn't much to them. Um, I I I even like halfway through the film, I didn't really care what happened to anyone. I was just like, I don't care. I don't know what's like. I know what's kind of going on with this film, but at the same time, it's like it feels like it's complicated for the sake of being complicated. You've got us today, Fizzy. First time, hopefully. Release all films and streaming services. I love going to the cinema though. I love going to the cinema, especially like, my local cinema is is like a ticket's um a fiver, six quid. Which is fucking really good. There's no escape in the mist or the fog. Um but yeah, like I, I couldn't really care for the characters and stuff. The audio mix for that film is fucking terrible. Watch party with Fizzy. I'm thinking about doing a watch party for um, for Borat 2. I'm thinking about doing that. It was over this way, wasn't it? Fucking hell. But yeah, uh, the audio mix for uh, for Tenant is really, really bad. Um, like, really, really bad. The, the background music is way too loud. Uh, and a lot of times you can't hear what the main character is, what the, what the, what the characters are saying. Well, I feel like I'm going the wrong way already. Also, I was wanting to try and see if I can use my shield. Like, you know how shields work and stuff, right? Try to use it. Um, I just wasn't really... F I just didn't really feel feel tenant at all. Um, well, there you go, folks. It's your first death of this stream, eh? As a stream in movies. Uh, I've not really noticed it myself. The thing is, I've heard uh, people have issues, but not with the sound, which makes me wonder if the cinema's fucked it. Now, Going for five here, so I guess we're going for f about fucking 1,000 with this area. Um, I've seen a lot of people complain about the audio mix for Tenet. Um, a lot of people, a lot of reviews say about how bad it is, and you, to the point, like, the audio mix is that bad to the point where you can't hear what characters are saying. And then, again, that's a very Nolan thing, is that his audio mixes are, are generally quite bad. And also having characters wear a mask, so there's bits in it where characters are wearing masks um, and they're they're talking and they're saying big, big chunks of story and you're like, I can't, what the fuck are they saying? Like, I'm sitting there just going, I kind of want to leave. I kind of want to leave because I don't, I don't know what's happened now because I can't hear anything. Interstellar. And they're still are there. There's a fucking good film. Protect the system of COVID. Do they all do Bane voice? Um, it's no, they're like they're just doing their normal voices. They're just doing their normal voices, but the fucking right. I went the complete wrong way, so I'm waiting for the snow to fuck off again, so I, I can at least try and remember this area. Maybe where that fucking ghost is going. Um, I, I was just, I just didn't, I just didn't get, I just didn't get the, 
I was, I was, I'm gutted because I was really looking forward to that film, and I was waiting. I was wanting that film to fucking blow my dick off, and I didn't. Wait on the snow. Please just stamina run. Wait on the snow. Follow the landmarks. Don't get stuck fighting reindeer too long, and you've got this. Fingers crossed, anyway, man. Right, we're at the first landmark. Like, we definitely went the wrong way last time. Uh, what film have you walked out on in the cinema? It's a good question. I've never actually walked out in a film during the uh, I've never walked out during a film. I've come close to it. Um, the only films I felt like I want to leave right now... Um, was the Max Payne film, because we all know how great of a movie Max Payne was, and Tenant, this right there. Come here, you cunt. Can I just run to the next landmark and then try and kill it there? <sighs> right, okay. I think there might be another one around about here somewhere. Never a lad. No. All the lads gone. Uh, you left midnight screens for film festivals. Uh, <laughs> has to save people through the snoring. Excuse me, there's my fucking sleepy laddie. Eh? Right, we've got our marijuanas. Right, we need to use our marijuanas. I get past this fucking bit. We'll wait for the next break in the snow. You fell asleep at 11 p.m. screen on Tintin like a legend. <laughs> that is amazing, Masood. Um, I've told I've I've told people about it before as well um, about falling asleep in the cinema and stuff. But I, like, I remember going to see the Funstones movie, um, the live action one when I was a kid and uh my mum fell asleep during it and I got really really upset that she fell asleep I was just like mum wake up you're missing the film <laughs> I was like really upset that she had missed it but my mum was just quite clearly just like absolutely fucking shattered and had enough of my shite and just wanted to go for a kip but there I was waking up my poor ma Oh yeah, fuck it, I was there. Right, there's a break. Where the fuck am I running to? There you go. Fuck off, you cunt. We are gonna die. I just wanna run to this landmark. Ah, oh, fuck, two of them have spawned. We're fucked. We're fucked. We're absolutely fucked, folks. Oh, fuck off, man. Can't see shit. Uh, here we go, folks. This fucking area. 
I said before that that's one of the first films I saw in cinema. Yeah. Saw that movie was gash. <laughs> oh, fucking hell, there's a fight going to kick out in the chat. Yeah, I liked the Sonic movie as well, actually. I liked it. It wasn't... You got some work calls to do, so you're looking. No worries, pal. Thank you very much for the lurk. Um, I liked the Sonic movie. Like, um, I felt it wasn't shit, and it wasn't amazing. Like, I felt like it was the per... It's the kind of one of the perfect um, Sunday movie... Sunday afternoon movie. Fire it on. It's nothing too mad to kind of keep your attention. It's got some good wee bits of charm to it. I thought it was quite good. Um, I w I'm more excited for a sequel. I'm more f excited for a sequel because we're going to have a proper mad as fuck um, uh, Jim Carrey in it and stuff. Forges, 456 summons. Pretty much all of them have been on the fucking DLC as well, by the way. Fuck, absolutely hellish, man. I'm gonna wait till the snow passes and then pop a marijuana. X Men Dark Phoenix was pretty awful. I've never seen it, Masood. I've never seen it. Uh, but for older fans, there's hardly any Easter eggs. Carrier's good, Robotnik. But they set up the sequel well. They certainly have set up the sequel really, really well. Um. But yeah, I, I totally agree with the fact, well, because like me and Sophie actually went and seen it together and it was like one, it was the last film that I seen pre-Covid, um, which is, I think is quite funny. <laughs> um, but yeah, like uh, we went and seen it and then like Sophie is a big Sonic fan. Um, we were talking about when we finished watching it and stuff and I was like, you know what, like, I felt like the, the demographic is going to go and see this film are kids that are into Sonic and old cunts who grew up with Sonic. And I was like, me and, me and Sophie are those old cunts, right? I, but I felt like there wasn't enough in that film to kind of make the old cunts go, I feel like a kid again, sort of thing. Also, fuck, I took the wrong item. Go, folks. You ready for three hours of this? Cause I ain't. Imagine filling up with Easter eggs, though, it'd be shite. Like, I'm not saying to fill up with Easter eggs, I mean, just like have one or two. Like, I felt like there was barely anything there for older fans. You got Sonic 06 around uh, launch for Christmas? The shittest Christmas present I've ever received. Fucking hell, man. On that subject, what what has been the best Christmas present? What's the best Christmas present that you ever received? Or do you have any funny Christmas present related stories? Time to share, folks, because we're going to be stuck in this bit for fucking three hours. We may as well become pals. Uh, PlayStation 1 was your best. PlayStation 1 a fucking good shout. PlayStation 1's a very, very good shout. Uh, we'll wait again. Only a couple of months until they start releasing the Easter eggs. I mean, that's fucking true. I've already seen the... Um, the I've already seen the advent calendars, and I've already seen like the big chocolate selection boxes. Stop playing it's like a daft prick now. Come on. What? I don't... I'm... I'm I'm playing it like how I usually play, unless I play Soulsborne games like a, a complete daft prick all the time. Um, probably 198. Uh, the most excited I've seen uh, Aaron Jr. film was the intro of the Sega logo and seeing Kazuma Kiryu. Yeah, I got really excited. I, like. Because like, in case you haven't seen the Sonic movie and stuff, it comes up with like a big Sega logo, but it shows you like, um, like a bunch of like the Sega franchise characters and stuff like that, right? So like one of the things, big fucking Uncle Kazuma Kiri comes up on the screen, and I sat there and I legit shouted, "I was like, it's Kazuma!" <laughs> I think I was the only person in the entire cinema that got really excited for seeing Kazuma on the big screen. But he was there. He was there, and it made me. It made me very happy.
See that fucking. I, I've said it before. I'll say it a fucking again. See that charge attack? It's a cunt, right? I, I can't seem to dodge it unless I'm running away from it, apparently. Right, we're up to the second landmark. I feel safer to fight this big cunt. Uh, he's just flew away. <laughs> he's just flew away. Where is he? There he is. Why would the camera not lock onto him? Oh, watch out for the jobber. Where are you? I can see your health bar. Are you flying again? You absolutely are flying again. Oh my god, is that another one? Or was that things that he shot? That's the things he shot. You excited for Yakuza 7? I need to get back onto Yakuza games. I've only ever played Zero uh, and Kiwami. Can someone come over and play this bit for me? <laughs> Can I summon someone in real life to come and play this shit bit of the game for me, please? Kiwami 2 is a banger. I've not played Kiwami 2. Where's my kid chameleon film? I think if they were going to do a kid chameleon film, it would have came out in the 80s. Which doesn't make sense because it came, that game came out in the 90s, but... Here! It might actually be a perfect time for it. Synthwave is really popular. All that kind of shit. It would be a good time for a kid chameleon film. Sex is Incredible is probably your favourite. Zero was... So, like I say, I've only played Zero and Kiwami. But Zero was fucking incredible. And it was like the first one I played and it was a phenomenal introduction to th those characters. Alex, here, it's not called Alex the Kid. Alex Kid, I think you find. I think you find Greenwood. Zero is your favourite game, period. Right, I mean, I can see it. I can see it. It's fucking good. Bellamy, how's it going, pal? Uh, we're still, we're still at this bit. <laughs> we're st still at this bit. We're still at this bit. I can't, I can't help it. No. <laughs> no. Right, we'll, we'll have a little marijuana. And then, uh, we'll run. <laughs> Alex the Kid is best mates with Spider the Man. <laughs> That's good. Spider the man. Bat the man. I read bits of the... the Sonic comic books. Ow. I don't even know where I'm fucking running to. I'm so disorientated today, I can't... There's a jobber. Uh, where am I going? Where? Right there. Fucking hell, it's going the right way. Right, we need to fucking heal. Oh, look at this. Let's get rid of these jobbers. Aye, very good. Fucking hell, folks. This bit looks worse than Tenet. Fucking hell. This... That's a good scale. I'd rather watch... I'd rather watch Tenet than play this right now. I'm, I'm like, I was legit not looking forward to doing the stream because of this area. I'm not gonna lie, folks. I was like, oh, fuck. I'm streaming on Monday. 
I'm doing that shit bit in that game. Just repeating bits over and over again. Well, I'm not going backwards at any bit, so... <sighs> it's a big Silent Hill energy. Silent Hill... At least... In Silent Hill you can see a little bit better than this. Get to his next fucking landmark, please. Now, don't need to watch it because there's a big lad in here. There's a big lad. Right, I think this is like the first time that uh, we've got this far. With only two, uh, two of those uh, fucking reindeer spawning, which is a good sign, which is a fucking good sign, because I hate this area. Death four hundred and fifty nine, a missed opportunity. Right, that's where we want to go, but I've timed this badly. So we'll wait, we'll wait, and we'll have a wee chat. Oh, well, big fucking horned horse, eh? Camp squad. Back for your lunch, so the bad luck might have been brought by me. No one brings bad luck to the stream. Mick, don't ever fucking say that. No one brings bad luck to the stream. It's not your fault that this area of the game's fucking dire. Maybe I took that a little bit too early. Anyway, right, straight on. Straight on. It's fine. Is it fine? I'll fucking have to be fine. I ain't fucking fighting any more of those fucking reindeer folk. We're going right to the boss. Are we getting chased? Fucking are getting chased. Oh my goodness. I was like, I might have time to switch out my weapons, but we don't. Right, here we go, folks. I'm going to be really, really quiet because I, I don't want to do this ever again. So I'm sure you'll understand. Probably the fart. Uh, get the fuck away. Yup. Uh. Oh no, the other one comes into the fight when you're fighting this one. Doing that big attack. Oh no! Fucking hell! God damn it! God damn it! Right. We nearly had that one done. Your doctor, how's it going, pal? <sighs> You've been playing Sekiro most of the weekend, so you going to have some fun with that game. 
I mean, as long as Sekiro doesn't have bits where you have to run through snow, we might be fine. You were nearly born a girl, but you weren't me. Okay, let's go again. It seems the best thing to do is when the reindeer do spawn at you. Really? Really? We're really going to get fucking... Fucking invaded here. Maybe it's an NPC. Well, they just fucking teleported to me, which is bullshit. They're waiting for me to. They're wanting to backstab me, aren't they? What's with all the little um, shields and stuff? What's all that about? It says pick up item. They're dropping items. Why? I just noticed there's a fucking item here. A mirror hat. How old are the fucking... Where have they gone though? Don't touch anything they drop. I'm not touching that single thing that they're dropping. Don't pick up the items just in case. I am not... Yeah, I won't bother. They're gone though, right? Is that someone trying to fuck with my game? He's maybe head. I haven't seen that they fucked off or anything, right? They could have used chameleon. Like our pal. Right, we'll just we'll continue just running. Let's we'll keep running. If this is going to be a thing, we might need to burn an effigy in the bonfire to stop people doing this. Right, okay. Uh, we've got ourselves a wee battle as well. There he is. Mate, I'm not picking up your fucking shite. You can bolt your nugget. Here, did he get hit by that? Taking the wrong item there. <laughs> yes! Oh no, there's two of them there. Uh, get horsed, you cunt. Welcome to my world, son. Welcome to my world. Nothing but horsing. Right, let's get to this fucking... <laughs> yes! Get horsed. That's well good. <laughs> uh, that was very, very good. I don't care about dying there. That was fucking ace. Uh <laughs> I don't forget you can burn effigies to prevent inv uh, invasions. Yeah, I'm gonna bur burn one now if if it seems like that guy might be hanging around there Evigions. forever. Tell Sun One that they are a uh, we'll get that done. We'll go to Stream Raiders. Good doctor! You're a fucking cunt. Hope you had a lovely weekend, pal. Thank you very much for coming back. You fucking cunt. Wrong one. There you go. Had to clap that. Thank you very much. A horse bit you when you're four, threw me in the air, and then nearly traveled me. I don't like horses. Fucking hell. A horse will fuck you up big time, like. 
well and truly will fuck you up. 21 assists from Y2K. Out for the last. Are we getting cake already? Right, bear with me a second, folks. Y2K, you get yourself two Musketeer Scrolls. Molly of Doom, you get yourself two Healer Scrolls. Now don't fucking spend them all at once. Or I'll send the reindeer after you. Hog, and we'll get you. You don't want that, do you? Exactly. Right, queue up the next fight. Let's put my tank. And let's get cake. It's okay. Oh, uh, he might be going to level 5 lockdown. Fucking hell. It's a shithole, isn't it? Well, I hope that the, the best outcome happens for you, pal. Oh, the fact that he teleported to you and dropped items. People used to drop stuff that could corrupt your save back in the early day. <laughs> but I've been backing up my save because I think Cracky Matty said that someone invaded his game, killed him, and ruined all his shit. Like, basically corrupted his game. So I've been backing up my saves every stream. How to do that, everybody? I was just finished my food. That's why I didn't come so quick. How to do that, Vilne? I believe that you require my appearance. Oh, to the loo, motherfuckers! <laughs> Thank you for your time. God, the day got better. Yeah, Michael. So the lovely villainy, the lovely scum and villainy requested. The appearance of Kick the Cat. The wiggle ass pussy. <laughs> wiggle ass pussy. Okay, we burnt. Did we burn an effigy? Did we burn an effigy? Oh, nullify human. Yeah, we did. It says nullify there. Right, okay. Yeah, like, like I say, I, I'm, I believe it was Karate Matty who said that someone corrupted his game. And I was just like, you know what? I'm. Every stream I've been backing up my saves, just in case. I also have a cat lover so much, she even she comes uh, to chill next to me when I stream. Oh, fucking hell, that's well good. Like, Cake, Cake comes up to... Cake comes up to the camera now and then. Uh, she doesn't do it too often. Um, she loves to get picked up, despite what people see all the time when I do pick her up. Um, I think she is, because I've got like a, a ring light here. And I think she might not necessarily like that too much. Oh, fucking hell, those items are still there. Fucking hell, right, we need to remember not to pick them up. Don't be a dafty and pick them up. You have to pause everything, what I'm doing, just to pet the cat. I think it's the only reason why people watch me. <laughs> what's the name? Of, what's the name of the cat? What's the name of the cat? Because her name's Cake. She's named after Cake the cat from Adventure Time. You love Adventure Time. Adventure Time's the best. I fucking love Adventure Time. But yeah, she's named after Cake the cat from Adventure Time. He's trying to defeat Fume Boy with a broken sword. 
fucking hell. Oh. These were discussing getting a kitten and name them. Whoa! Fucking hell. You weren't going to name your cat Whoa, fuck, fucking hell, though. Shit. I've tried to take out that jobber. And we end up getting taken out ourselves pretty much. Need to watch these, um, paws. Oh, I got two greedy there. One more hit. There you go. Although, fucking hell, another one's going to spawn properly. I think I'm going the right way. Am I going the right way? Fucking everyone spawned. Shit in the bed. Oh, I was going the right way. Oh, fuck off. Can't see? Right, let me in this house. I just want to get in this house. Where's the door? Right. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. <sighs> Sorry, Velani. I, I seen something that you're, you used were thinking about getting a cat and calling it Mochi. Mochi. Uh, that was actually one of the names that we have. We have, like, I don't know if anyone else does this, but, um, like, you, you kind of, like, you prepare yourself for animals of the future. Um, so we basically, me and Vicky, we have, like, a, a, a list of names for cats that we want in the future. Um, have Dillwell, how's it going, pal? Um, so we've got Morgana after Persona 5. We've got um, Mochi. We've got Marmalade. We want we want a big ginger cat and call it Marmalade. That'd be fucking cute. Um, we we did have Frankenstein for a little bit. Um, get a black cat, call it Frankenstein after Red Dwarf. But yeah, I'm sure there's. I'm sure we have a lot more names. charging me like fuck. Here comes the job art. Right, okay. We need to run. I don't want to get caught out here again. But if I'm close to here, I don't think it'll spawn. Like another one will spawn, that is. We're going to get fucking trampled. I was trying to get around quick enough, trying to lock onto it quick enough to get my shield up. That just wasn't happening. Your friend, uh, your friend has a cat named Donut and looks exactly how you expect. It's fucking good. Frankenstein's a good one. Thank you. We Frankie. We Frankenstein. Basically, we all think that cats are bait goods. I mean, that's not. I mean, you're absolutely correct. Cats are bait goods. You're right. It didn't spawn. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, I was right. Oh, honestly, see the moment this area's done with, I'm going to do a, I'm going to do a big, big cum. <laughs> going to do a big cum. Your cat's going, your next cat's going to be called Baked Goods. It's pretty good. But then Baked Goods could be like, people might think it's like, a, the cat's like a hash heat or something. I am not picking up these items. What if that guy was like super helpful? 
what if that was a person who knows my struggles and is like, you know what, these items here that I'm dropping is going to make this area so much better for you. Vinegar strokes. <laughs> make sure to turn off the stream first. Yeah, I'll make sure I do that. I won't do what that other streamer did. Can't remember what that boy's fucking name was. The boy who just like finished streaming and he's like, the first thing he did was just wank himself off. It's like, what is wrong with you? The SP. Uh, oh, it's like dark side fucking anus or something. Dark side Phil, is that what it is? I should do that though, eh? Like, oh, uh, there's your raid. We've raided so and so. Like, time, time to get my wally out. Anus, that starts with a P. Aye, but it's where you find the prostate, and that starts with a P. Am I right? <laughs> Am I right? Can it argue with logic like that, folks? Ow. Oh, jobber. Shit, we need to get out of our landscape. Landscape? Landmark. Taking the wrong items because I'm a fanny. It's fine. Dead. I need to remember once I've taken my marijuana to swap it out for non marijuana. Because I keep taking the marijuana when I'm not wanting to take the marijuanas. Hey, you just get that feeling. <laughs> Am I right? Okay, let's go. I don't even know how long the marijuana lasts for. <gasps> right, we're gonna get fucking jumped. Hey, you motherfucker. How did that class as a hit? I hate these fucking deer. Well, I mean, when they're attacking invaders, it's good. Right, we need to go fucking our heat chopped off there. Oh, yeah, fuck. Keep running, son. Keep running. Keep running. Dodge. 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 Here he comes. Oosh. Oosh. Come on, can I just fight you here? Oh, dearie me. Probably you hashies, you can't remember to do anything else. <laughs> fucking your heads are fucking covered in hash. Uh, I hate this area. I think you really need to use an S as well in direct fight. I'm trying, I'm, I really do not want to use an S. I, I really want to try and keep my S's for the, the cats. Ugh. I hate, I really hate this area. I hate it. You have other heal items. Yeah, I know. I've got other heal items, but I'm just like, well, life gems are really cheap. So I'm just like, oh, I'll just keep using them. I know, like, I have, like, divine blessing and stuff and things like that, but... I feel like that using items where they're ex either they're expensive or like they're very very limited in their use, like is a is a potentially a wasted item here because I'm, I've died so many times to this area, and I, I just don't I just want to get past this area. 
I'm in the last DLC. Why are you going to use them in Dark Souls 3? <laughs> good Doctor, you have raised a very, very good question. <laughs> a very, very good point, should I say. Um, oh, I'm just very, very funny over my items, as people will notice. Like, I just hoard onto items. It's advice, but I'll probably get ignored. I'm not I'm not ignoring the advice that people are giving me. I'm trying not to ignore them, should I say. It may, it may seem like I'm ignoring them, but I'm, I'm really not. Ah, okay. Can they, can I can these can these things just fuck off? Can someone who knows the game splash cash and get fizzy the go cami pep talk? Why are you just are you sick of this just as much as why well? I'm sick of this? I'm getting really fucking sick and sick and tired of this area. Use items. Is that what people are saying? Just use items. Because, just to let people know that pineapples is in full effect right now, by the way. Big old pineapples. I don't want to be, I want this to be done by the end, by the end of the stream. If we're still doing this after the stream's ended, fucking hell. I'm going to be very upset. And I imagine a user will be very, very upset as well. Are you trying not dying? Um, honestly, honestly, man. I have tried my best not to die. I've tried my best not to die. It's not working though. He's not really been doing that. Pick up those items. I'm not picking up those items. I am not picking up those items. Hell no. I am not picking up those items. What's the worst that can happen? The worst that can happen is like my save gets corrupted. But then I suppose... I have backed up my save and stuff, but I'm not picking them up. There's a reason why that guy was dropping items. There's a reason why he was doing it. That's all right, good doctor. Commit to these fights, stop trading blows, or just run like fuck. Yeah, Bobby, how's it going, dude? We're still here, but <laughs> we're still here, pal. We're still here. Horsebuck Valley stuff. You're absolutely correct. Someone invaded us and they, I think they're trying to hack my game. <laughs> Which is not good. Right, I'm, <clears throat> I'm committing myself to the fights because the way I'm looking at it is like, well... If I do kill them, there's gonna be, there is going to be a point where these guys stop fucking spawning in. Right? Get to the landmark, man. Get to the fucking landmark. Because the last thing we want is fighting two of these fucking things. Right, here we go. Oh, fuck. Get ourselves in here. Kill you, you cunt. <laughs> I, I, that's the first time I've seen that animation. Where they just like flat, they just like drop flat on the ground. It's pretty good. Uh, right, we'll wait till the snow fucks off and then we'll do another bolt. How do you know they hack? Yeah, so. Uh, I mean, folk have already said it, but yeah, they, they legit teleported right towards me. 
<coughs> and then they started dropping items on the ground, which folk are like saying, like, do not do, do not pick up those items because trying to get you, son. So I, I haven't picked up the items. Um, the person, the person, actually, the invader got killed by a horse, <laughs> which was incredible. But yeah, Kebabi, how are you, pal? Are you are you keeping well? How's life in the uh, How's life in Turkey? Holy fuck, we're like right next to this. I don't want this big fucking suit of armor lad getting involved. Oh, watch your stamina. Fuck you. Right, okay. Big lad in armor. <sighs> Robert. Okay. Do I... Do I use this time now to sort out my weapons? What, do, what does everyone else think? We're safe here, right? What do we do? Do we switch back over to power stancing? How's the school situation in Scotland? Uh, so the kids are all back at school, um, which it, I think is wild. Um, I romance to heal. I, I don't do magic. My guy's fucking. He's stupid as fuck. You beat the previous cat by doing rolls. Keep it as it is. Um, yeah, the the kids are all back at school, which is, I think is absolutely mad uh, that they're back at school. But it probably won't be long until they get taken out of school again. What what what's the situation like? Um, yeah, what well, I mean, Kababi, what's what's the um, what's the COVID situation like in Turkey? Because like we don't hear anything. Because like the UK is that fucked, we don't hear what the rest of the world's like in terms of their I COVID situation. Is. Love that kind of kiss, please. Uh, Y2Ken. Could you hold on to your kiss just a wee second? Right, here we go, folks. We're being lied to uh, right to our faces by your government. Fucking hell. What are they like? Just like, um, what is your government just like telling you? Like, are they reporting uh, wrong figures? Oh, you fucker! What happened there? Not to sound like a fucking like. Oh, it's my controller, but my controller legit made me run to the side there. Right. Also, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be quiet here because I need to, I, I want to get this done. Oh fuck, I wasn't looking right.
This is where I go get fucking shit. Yeah, I, I just went fucking what to be very greedy. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, thank fuck for that. What's it doing? Fuck's sake, folks. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh no! No! Oh, was that out of Estus? Is that what happened? Oh, fuck. Right, we need to prepare ourselves more for this fight. Um. Right. At least I've got a backup sword now. Load up in heals. I've got loads of life gems. I've got, yeah. I think I'm fine for heals. Ah, oh, fuck. That's so nippy. Take the weeds off before the boss. Oh, so I, like, I'm not cycling through that. Right, yeah. Oh, I'm fucking raging. I'm absolutely raging. Like, oh, that could have been it. Remember to fix sword. I mean, the sword's fine now, right? It's got full, full durability. I report. Ah, there you go. Cool. I was like, fucking hell, don't tell me I've like went here and I 
my sword's fucked. Let's go again, folks. Eh? I was kind of hoping that second cat has the same sort of health pool as the first one. And, like, it would be... It would have been over. Like, we're running the complete wrong direction now. I was kind of hoping that it would just kill me because I ran a complete that way. You're a big fan of the coffin to bat toboggan. Coffin toboggan's the best bit about this area. <laughs> it's legit the best bit about this area. Right, let's go over to Stream Raiders uh, and let's kickstart the battle that way. Oh, death counter, sorry. I think that's been fixed. There's obviously no death counter with this screen, but it should be fine. Oh, we could have ended it. We could have. We could have ended it. We could have ended this pain. But I fucked it up. I fucked it up. I, I ran out of S's. Uh, David H., you get yourself a flying rogue scroll. Uh, Kieran, winner. You get yourself a paladin scroll. Do not spend them all at once. Uh, we'll queue up the, the boss battle. Um. You know what? I'm going to put my guy there. Also, why 2 Ken? Mwah. Let that kiss go down the camera. Let it go up in air. May it find you. Let it plant you in the cheek. Let it warm you up. Let it give you a good old Monday, baby. Thank you very much for redeeming uh, a wee kiss on the cheek. Oh, the empty heart. The empty ball animation was heartbreaking. I didn't even notice I was too concentrated on the. F Sorry, I didn't mean to bash the mic there. Um, I didn't. I didn't even notice I was too focused on the, um, the enemy. <sighs> uh, when Zalan Bossy heals up and takes less damage, deals more, it's pretty much just worth playing it safe. So the bear the buff wears off. The ah right, Kale, okay. I didn't know the I didn't know that buff would wear off, to be honest. Angry it's a lot. Just me crushing the mic. <laughs> Frigid outskirts, I hate thee. Ugh. Right. Try right again. I mean, we've gotten to the boss twice now. And that's a good thing, right? I think I'm running the complete wrong way. There you go. I... I'm so bad at running to this area. We'll wait till the snow fucks off, and we'll have a little marijuana. While we run. Red, red is smoky. Yeah, he stopped smoking after a bit. Did you see that? I seen him... I seen him get red and smoky, but I didn't see it wear off. Oh, I, thought, I legit thought that could have been it. I thought that could have been it, and that would have been, would have been us done with the frigid outskirts. Like, for the rest of my life, I wouldn't need to fucking do this hell ever again. Uh, we'll take a wee marijuana now. A wee marijuana. There we go. They break your weapons faster too. That's why uh, you should either have a backup ready or repair powder to hand. Yeah, cool. That's good to know. I didn't know that about that buff that he does. Knowledge is power and all that. Um... Have we killed... The reindeer. Have we killed the reindeer? 
We can't, because that one spawned. Or the one that spawns in that area. Is that one fucked? Because it should have spawned. I get, yeah, I guess that one's gone. Holy fuck. I'll take that, like. Buy that for a dollar. You might have stopped at least some spawns. I fucking hope so. Sick and tired yet. Not being able to tune in today, just popped uh, just quickly see how you're going. Hope uh, my absence would help you with the situation, but last, it doesn't seem so. <sighs> Sir Fail, we nearly, we nearly just killed the boss. We nearly just killed the boss and we got one of them down, but the last one got us because I ran out of S's. Um, it was very, very heartbreaking, but thank you very much for popping by and checking up on us. Very, very kind of you. Um, I hope you're having a nice day. It's not too stressful, pal. But the Rex5, thank you very much for the follow. I hope you're comfy. hope you're cosy. More importantly, I hope you're doing very, very well. Thank you very much for the follow. I massive, massively appreciate it. But here we go. One more attack. Fuck you, cunt. Where is this hiss? Oh, I'll get to this hiss. Fuck out, can I see you, you cunt? Cover them. He got me. He got me. <sighs> Get the jobber. Right, okay. So, what we'll do is we'll get rid of the marijuana so that's not in the way. Um, I think that's fine for healing items. We've got a backup weapon just in case. Oh, right, we'll wait for the snow to fuck off, then we'll start again. It's sad what crack does to reindeer. It turns them into assholes. Please fucking crack ridden reindeer. Whatever heals have we got? And add another quick heal. Um, okay, um, so we do have divine blessings. Which will fully heal us. Which we may as well just stick on, right? I just don't know how quick of a drink that is. I don't know if that's a fast drink or if it's a slow drink. Or if it's a whiskey drink. Or a vodka drink. Little Gem is too shite for a boss. You reckon? What about we what's what about stuff to buff my weapon? What about bu stuff to buff my weapon? We've got fire. We can apply fire, we can apply poison, we can apply lightning. Pineapples, because I I I just wanna get this over and fucking done with. See out of these three here. Like my lightning, fire, and poison. What's the best one to use on them? If RPGs have taught me anything, fire should be good. I'd imagine fire would be good, because we're in a frosty motherfucking place, right? There's not a lot of bosses left, no need to keep saving everything. They snow leopards. Poison would be good to whittle away health while they are at a distance. Don't know, to be honest. You'd guess fire. Right, we'll go with fire then, right? We'll go, we'll, we'll go with fire. Uh, what am I trying to do? We'll go with fire. What was that other item that we took that 
I don't actually think we have any left. They increased our damage output and our damage done to us. Can't remember what that was called. I think we might have used them all. No, and bright blight, uh, a bright bug, a uh, fucking a bright bug. Yeah, let's use that as well. Uh, where the fuck are you? I lose items all the time. There you are. Right bug, you said. Alright, cool. You don't know if they're weak to specific one. It's all damage. Heron's bright bug. I just fucking called it a blog again. Bug. I see. There you go. I was very scared that I was going. Oh shit! I was very, very scared that I was going to uh, get too close to the edge. Fuck off! Run, you fucking cunt! We don't have time. We do not have time. Uh, maybe I could have popped it there. Where is he? See the other one. Stay down. I, I really fucked up the positioning of them. I couldn't try and get them close together. I split them up too much. <sighs> well, that's a bright, that's a bright bug. Got bright bug. How can I not speak today, man? Right, let's go again. I joined to see you die, and it wasn't gravity. It's this fucking area! Again! The fire buffs seem to be taking chunks out of them, though. Right, Mick? So, definitely gotta be sticking to that. The fire buff definitely seems to be a winner. Also, we're getting to the boss more often than what we usually do, so... There, there, there's light at the end of this shit tunnel. Also, hiya. Hiya, pal. How are you? I hope you're doing well. Hope you had a lovely weekend. Um, We'll just keep running, because I think the... I think the... Um, The reindeer that spawns here is gone now. I think anyway. But the cream rise to the top. Oh yeah. The cream does in fact rise to the top. Here in winter, thank you very much for the follow. I hope you're comfy. I hope you're cozy. And I hope you're doing very, very well. Thank you very much for the follow. Thank you very much for participating. And the old stream raiders. Yeah, that, that reindeer's definitely gone. Which is good. Because <laughs> I'm sick and tired of these motherfucking reindeer. Fuck off. Boof. I, I feel like there is big progress being made, to be honest. Eventually. I'm going to be so happy once I'm done with this um, area. Um, up until now, with this DLC, it's been phenomenal. 
but frigid outskirts for me has just been way too hard of um of a bullshit area i know it's a bullshit area it's there for a challenge and it has it's done its job to be honest it's certainly been a fucking challenge but it's been too hard i think the difficulty spike of this area matched with this is just a bit too much Way too much. There's a challenge and there's a bullshit challenge. Yeah. <laughs> he summed up really well. Where are you? Right, right next to it. Watch out for the sparkly things that are going to come after me. You know what, we'll take an S just to be safe here. Oh, you're cutting it! That gave me a big fright. Fucking hell, fighting two of them here now. Fuck off! Or at least I killed that one there. Robot lady, I'll happily call someone a cunt, but they'll need to wait till I can see who it is. Ah, uh, right, okay. Let's pop a gem. And then kill the big lad in here. And then I'll call someone a cunt. And it's gonna be gravy from there on. It's modified sprite. How's it going, pal? Bear me a second. Bear me a wee second. Get that guy out of the way. Modified sprite! How's it going? Thanks very much for spending 500 glass checks. You fucking cunt. Fuck him on then. Fuck him on then. We're getting. We're getting. We're getting. Absolutely slaughtered in this area. Cool. How's tricks? Hey, tricks are good. Tricks are really good. Had a lovely little weekend there. Uh, we're back to more Dark Souls 2. Uh, we're in this bullshit area. Um. But we're getting progress. There is progress being made today, which is lovely. Um, yeah. I hate this area. <laughs> I hate it. We're still in the froze zone, Jim. We're absolutely still in the froze zone. We're froze zoned up to fuck. But uh, at least this time I think we can... No, we cannot. Fucking hell. I was like, oh, we have time. Right, I'm gonna go quiet, folks, because I want this done. I'm sick and tired of this shit. I want it done. Bad start. Big chunks. Timed that really, really badly. Timed it really badly. Such folks, I want to get us done, take six daggers to the face. Yep. It's like, I want to concentrate. Then soon away, just get smashed. And I'm like, right. Dead cat, how's it going? How's it going, pal? We're still here. We're going here. Trev is going to be an expert at bobsleighing after all this. We've bobsled into this shit pile about a billion times now. That looked a wee bit sayer. I mean, I'd imagine getting swiped by a big giant tiger would be quite sore. Actually, I think getting swiped by any size of tiger would be quite sore. But, 
big angry Dark Souls ones. Probably a little bit extra sore. Have you kissed the egg before you gone down? I haven't. Um, I used to have a little egg paperweight here. There's an egg behind me. Next time we'll kiss the egg, right? We'll see how the egg goes. Also, I think I'm running. Yeah, I <laughs> just like... How? I do this every single time, and every single time I try and adjust where I'm running, and I still seem to run miles away from where I want to go. Um, I'll, I'll wait, I'll wait just to be safe. Feels illegal. I just realised that I could spread Biscoff on toasted malt loaf. See, uh, see Biscoff spread. Ya fucker, by the way. Ya fucker. Ya absolute fucker. Whoever decided to put Biscoff as a spread needs to be fucking locked up for crimes against goodness. It's not, no, not crimes for goodness, it should be actually. Okay, I'll, like. And my controller just did it again. My controller's funky peeps. Biscoff spread makes me think of Barry. I didn't he like eat a whole jar of it or something like that, and like at Christmas, and nearly killed himself. Which also reminds you, new two good boys getting recorded. I man, I was so happy to see that today. Logging onto Twitter and someone had retweeted that they're asking for questions. I was like, holy fuck, we're getting ourselves a new two good boys, which then also means I can get rid of these uh, Pornhub analytics away from my phone. <laughs> Because, like, every year I give them the Pornhub analytics. Every year I give them that. And, eh, uh, well, this is the first. Oh, these lads are something to be spawned in as well. And this is, like, the first first one, like, this year, pretty much, so. Right, we'll wait till the snow's fucked off and then we'll do a run. I forgot if you had the analytics. British. Pornhub analytics is like one of my favourite things ever. I'm, I'm, I'm so happy that they put a lot of effort into their analytics. The stats that you posted are just a big wow. They're fucking great, aren't they? What I'm just surprised about is that people use a 3DS to watch porn. They go onto Pornhub on their 3DS. Uh, my Facebook name is Jim Jams. People occasionally send me photos of chocolate spray called Jim Jam. So I made a video of me eating a big spoonful. <laughs> yeah, just eating yourself. Don't judge me in your videos. <laughs> yes, modified sprite. That the is a very very low percentage. So it probably is just you. It's um, a tribute and note to the the Pornhub traffic on their 3DS. Just you. I love how, like, one of my big loves about the analytics as well is, like, how much, like, Russia is as dominated by hentai. Fucking great. Oh, no, I guess it's that. Oh, yeah, I fucking love that shit. I think it's amazing. And as Lucas pointed out, like, the map is incredible. This is a big world map, and where Russia is is just hentai. Fuck off. Let's run. Oh, that's a thing. That is definitely a thing. Quick before that jobber kills us. Fucking hell, man. That was a little bit too close. A little bit too close. Hentai country. <laughs> Russia is hentai country. So much hentai that sprawls across so many time zones. Maybe it never clicked you were analytics boy because you're probably Cthulhu the Dead at the time. Yeah, I would have been Cthulhu the Dead. Yeah, I think I might have been analytics once. I think I might have been analytics once as Fizzy Juice. 
but most of all, most of the time the analytics has been handled by Cthulhu the Dead. I must visit when COVID's over here. Me and you too, brother. In Russia, <laughs> in Russia, hentai masturbates you. In Russia, hentai masturbates you. I should get wanked off by a hentai. Like that, just sit, sit with you for a wee bit. Right, I need to watch it in case my controller goes all funky. Right, at least we're making it to the boss a lot more often now. That delayed swipe get me all the time now. Oh, I didn't see that. I'm being, I'm being very sloppy here. Yep, delayed that swipe got me again. This is the run. It is not the run. <laughs> it is not the run. At least I'm getting up to the boss. At least I'm getting up to the boss, which is... It's good. Please heal. Oh wait, I was going to kiss the lucky egg! Sanka, you're dead, man. Right, here we go. Oh, that hentai chat putting me off. If anything, the hentai chat should be fucking... Rallying me up, ready for a scrap. <laughs> right, here we go, folks. This is a one. We don't take the marijuana anymore for the runs. We're after now. You stream until you get us done? No. <laughs> no. If I don't do this in three hours, we don't do it in three hours. You just need to come fucking back for more pain. Six hour stream. Fucking F that, right. I'm I'm fairly safe that there's no reindeer that spawn here now. I can't believe it's got to the point where I've fucking done a genocide on the all the reindeer at this wee bit here. What's people got planned for this evening? Anyone up to anything fancy? <laughs> the more the more deviant, the more power. Right, all the jobbers are now gone from this area. Right, we'll wait for the snow to fuck off and then we'll make a run for that one there. Yeah, playing Left 4 Dead 2 with the Laz slash Angels. Yeah, we, uh, me and Sophie, we played Left 4 Dead um, last week, I think it was. Uh, Left 4 Dead 2 last week. Um, I we, We've been playing it uh, again quite... Quite... Not super often. It's fucking great. Or Phasmo, because you're obsessed. I don't want to play that game. <laughs> no. No. Gary, how's it going? How's it going, man? Did you, have a, did you have a lovely weekend, Gary? Uh, yeah, fucking Left 4 Dead is, is good. It's good firing all like the... Um, it's good firing all the fucking mods onto it. So I've got like um, I've got like a waifu mod on it. So like all the characters are just running boot. It's just anime lassies. Very good. I 
Um, I've got another mod where uh, the tank has been replaced by Shrek. Instead of playing like the tank music, it plays Smash Mouth. Very, very good. Highly recommend it. I could kill you, that would be nice. Okay. So, yeah, it's like you're just like sitting there and you're like, fucking hell, that was close, we nearly died. And then all you hear is like, somebody! <laughs> you're like, oh no! It's a tank! Uh, where are you going? I guess he's a little bit snow blind as well, eh? Right, we've got a jobber just coming through the door. Where are you? Come here. I'll never run. Let's go, folks. We've kissed the lucky egg. We kiss. We've kissed Sanka, <laughs> the lucky egg. Hentai is flowing through my veins. Time to smash some tigers, baby. All these people have died here on this fucking wee bridge. Bad, like, lucky enough, we've not died yet. Yet, right? It's really not safe to uh, use the charcoal pine resin there. They're fine when we come in. Oh, that not work. Oh, because I moved. Oh, for fuck's sake, right? Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I mean, it's probably good that I got pinned down there. Yeah, I couldn't see what the fuck was happening there. We do have ourselves a lot of battle though, so let's fly over to that. This boss is shite, man. It is shite. Um, it's not great, like... It's not because I'm getting my ass handed to me and stuff. Um, the fume that you had in the mass and stuff, and I thought it was a really good fight. But it's part of the fact that the last boss, bef the they've just recycled a boss from this DLC. And then they give you two of them. So you fight the same boss three times in this DLC, which I think is a bit shite. The king has multiple pets. Well, maybe he should have branched out and got himself things other than big cats. Dark Souls 2 does so many multiple enemy bosses. You were talking about having more cats. <laughs> yeah, but at least my cats aren't annoying bosses in Dark Souls 2. <laughs> um, Gemron, you get yourself a Flying Rose Scroll. Frog Whale, you get yourself three Centurion Scrolls. It's Tats, you get yourself a Monk Scroll. Do not fucking spend them all at once, or I'll send uh, the King's Pets after you. And some uh, fucking Crystal... Um, crystal uh, Reindeer. Right, okay, so... You stick to the top. Get one of them. Ah. Okay. We're going to stick to the top so we can get that chest there. Uh, if we go there, we get a gold. 
Yeah, we could go like that up there. Aye. Planning ahead for once, eh? Planning ahead for once. Uh, I'm just going to put a tank right there. Cake boss. Fucking hell. It's been a while since I've seen Cake boss. That was a very good joke as well. Very, very good joke. Uh, well, let's just take another effigy. Fuck it. Okay, boss impaled his hand at his home bowling alley last month. Holy fuck. Is there a video? <laughs> I really I really want to see him impale his hand. Right, okay, folks. We've got Sanka. We've got Sanka the Lucky Egg. We're going bobsleighing, right? Kiss my lucky egg. Let's go, folks. The fire boss seemed to be really good. I was just fucking rage at that. I never managed to pop it there. On the machine where the balls get returned. Fucking hell. Fanatics, how's it going, pal? There's Cake. He's come up to say hi to you all. Hi, running the right way. I've got myself lost again. I've actually got myself very, very lost. Wait, right, hold on. There's blood here. There you go. Okay, we're back to where we want to be, and I believe we need to go down this way. Hi, Cake. Are you going to try and knock over shit now? Is that what you're going to do? Now you're going to jump over there? It's what a wee felly. 469. Here, remember that we... Remember many, many moons ago, we, um... We had a minute silence for Trev when we had 69 deaths. We're now on 469 deaths. Um, I'll wait for the snow to go so I'll make sure I'm running the right way. Cake is giving you her power. Cake, give me your power. Give me your power, pal! <laughs> oh, it's on Google if you're interested. Fuck I, man. I'm gonna read that shit. He doesn't... Is that him done then? Is that injury stopped him from making cakes? Or did he even make the cakes anyway? Was he just like the face of it? Is that a four minute silence? Ugh, fucking, we're done with the six minute silences. We only get a one minute silence per game. For the 69th death. That probably is not doing too bad. Here? What a fucking legend. Gets his hand minced on a bowling ball and he's still at it. Nah, he's a boss, he probably does fuck off. He probably just sits there and wanks himself. Silly. Thinking about mad cakes that he can make. He's sitting there. Wanking himself, silly. We learned to ice with his other hand. Not only has he had a fucking big massive accident, he's also learning how to overcome it. What a trooper. What a fucking trooper. We can all learn something from Cake Boss today, folks. Is to never give up. <laughs> oh, you fucker. Uh, where's that house? Uh, where's the house? That's what I'm going to learn. That's what I'm going to learn from Cake Boss, is to never give up. And with, and with that, oh, you fucker, I might be able to finish this area. Maybe not. You know what, Cake Boss is a cunt. <laughs> you know what, Cake Boss can go fuck himself. I don't give a fuck. Talking about Kate Boss like he's John Cena. Kiss Sanka the lucky egg. Let's go, folks. You never know if stories on here are true or lean up to a pun. That is, I mean, 
That is, <laughs> that is the, the murky truth of the Fizzy Juice stream. You don't know if it's real or not. Right, I think this is a way. <laughs> That's what Kate Boss is about, hustle, loyalty, and cake. <laughs> Never give up. You can't see of me either. Too busy working behind the scenes. Right, we're... I say, we're definitely going the wrong way. Talking to my shite. I need to stop talking shite and pay attention to this game that's killing me. It's testing my fucking patience. I say, has it disappeared? No. Yo, just don't roll out of the way. It's fine. Scud me. Uh. Fine. I think you need a new lucky. Yeah, um, Sanka's not doing too well. I need to kiss something else. I'm, uh, no. <laughs> I, I just, I, I, I looked down and I looked at my, my anime figures. I was like, maybe I should kiss an anime figure, and I was like, Aaron, listen to the words that are inside your head right now. <laughs> do not do that. Do not fucking do that. Leave them be. They're no harm in anyone. Leave them alone. Kiss it. I'm not fucking kissing them. I'm not fucking kissing them. Beast. <laughs> beast, 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 beast. <laughs> I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Right, we'll wait for the snow to fuck off. You don't want to kiss the anime figs. You don't know where they've been. That's true. I mean, I bought them brand new out of gacha machines in Japan. That doesn't mean a fucking single thing in today's climate. Don't kiss them. That'll only put you down a dark path to hot glowing. Yeah, I don't want to go down that path. I don't want my wife walking in on me and I'm hunched over a desk spunking on plastic. Fuck no. That's how relationships that's how that's how marriages end. B grade boy. These these should be fucking S grade. Uh keep running. Back. I hate when they fucking leap over your feet. Right. Oh, I dropped an item. Old Radiant Life Gem. Well, thank you very much for a healing item. Uh, is that got anything juicy in it? Absolutely does not have anything juicy in it. Oh, I'm stuck in a barrel. It's fine. It's fine. It's dead. You're dead and all. Right, let's go. I'm fucking, I'm sort of holding in a pish here, folks. We might be able to use me holding a pish as a sort of, like, incentive for this boss. If I get to kill the boss, I get the pish. I get to squeeze my lizard. And it'll be fine. Quite horse in the round. <laughs> hey. Oh, you fucker. Like, my controller did it again! Is my controller plugged in right or something? 
Looks like we're getting chased. No, I don't think we're getting chased. Right, let's go, folks. You have big pish energy. Right. Please. Please. I should have dodged back, I should have dodged into him. <sighs> right, I'm going to use this time. I'm going to use this time to take a pesh, folks. Controller is fucked. Yeah, I just moved it and it unplugged. I said, it's unplugged now. No, it's not. What? Why is it not lit up? Right. Anyway, I'm off for a pesh, right? I'm going to have a wee set of this bonfire and I'm going to go for a pish. I'm going to leave you on the stream major screen. Obvious. Hi. Hi, everybody. Right. Wait, was that... Was the battle ready? Oh, 16 minutes. Our scene. Fucking, you just love seeing my hoop. Right, is there anything not weird that I can kiss for good luck? The answer is no. The answer is definitely no. Well, keep kissing the egg. Sanka. Maybe Greenwood could be the lucky, the lucky charm. Greenwood. Mwah. Let that kiss go down the camera. Let it go up in the air. May it find you. Let it plant your cheek. Let it warm you up. Let it give you a good old Monday, baby. Thanks very much for being here. Kiss Kirby. I could kiss Kirby. Kirby. Mwah. Right, we're kissing Kirby, we're kissing Sanka the egg. Let's go, folks. Uh, this way, I believe. Okay, so it's just like a direct corner. Right, that's what I'm doing wrong. Oh, that Kirby is amazing. That Kirby came from, um, yeah, that was a blind box. One of these, like, blind boxes that you get. Um... It's actually gifted to, me, gifted to me by the lovely Minute 5072 uh, when we were over in Japan. 
he bought like a bunch of uh, Kirby bind boxes and he, he got like he must have got about three or four of those sleeping Kirby's with that little sleeping cap on and he's like oh for fuck's sake and he's just like there you go <laughs> just take it <laughs> um, Kirby on your lap it's Kirby sitting on my shoulder um, so I so I got one of his many many duplicates And then he got really, really upset because of the they had Final Fantasy uh, blind boxes as well, um, where like the rarest ones that you could probably get would be like Cloud and Vivi. And uh, I only bought two of those blind boxes, and I got Cloud and, and Vivi. <laughs> well, I was like, right, cool. I don't need to buy any more of those blind boxes because I've got Cloud and I got Vivi, and they're the best wee guys. Is the Persona 5 mask wearable? It fucking is. But I'm too much of a fucking idiot to understand how to tie the fucking straps for it. So... Anything's wearable if you try hard enough. I mean, that is... That is fucking true. Uh, fuck it, let's... No, let's not go. Let's not go. Take our time. Look, try to rush this. Nothing says friendship like gifting an unwarranted duplicate Kirby. I mean, he could have easily kept that and sold it. But yeah, the Joker's mask is wearable. It is wearable. There's little straps that came with it, but um, yeah, I'm an idiot and I, I don't know how to tie them onto it. <laughs> uh, maybe one, maybe one time on the stream I'll get it and I'll be like, right, how the fuck do, would you tie this? Because I don't get it. My fucking, my brain doesn't work. Right, let's go. A fucking braid don't work. <laughs> Too busy thinking about the fucking frigid outskirts. Yeah, straps will fit around the headphone. I don't think you're supposed to wear it with headphones. You're supposed to just wear it. Oh, fuck's sake, man. I suppose it's weird normal. Fuck, we're going to die. Uh, the Joker mask that came with PS5. Uh, no, sorry, P5R edition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because what's really, really. Alright, I'll fucking show you this. Right. Quite a little bit dusty. So there you go. That's Joker's mask from Persona 5, right? I came with the Persona 5, the collectible edition for uh, Royal, right? Here and here, you have uh, bits for tying the straps around, right? That's fine, right? Now, the problem is, see the straps, see the strap that you get? It's not just one strap. They give you two straps. They give you two straps. So how do I tie two straps to this? Be one strap. I don't get it. I don't get it. Because one strap is not big enough to go from here to here and go around your fucking head. Well, not my head anyway, because I've got a big old head. And surely you wouldn't have the straps looped round so they're doubled. And then tie them in the knot at the back. It doesn't seem that good. But that's the only way I can imagine it to be. But surely there's a better way than doing it. Let's fucking two strap it. There you go. Look, I'm in Persona 5. But, um, uh, Kieran, that, uh, that collector's edition was pretty good though. You got like a big art book and stuff, and you got the soundtrack. And the soundtrack's fucking incredible, so. Or it looks around the ears like goggles. I don't. But then it's gonna be. But then it's going to be like, I don't know, it doesn't feel like it'd be secure if it's just round the ears. To me, it should go round the back of the head so that you can do big mad moves and shit. Like you're playing Persona, just go out in the street, kiddling at your Joker from Persona. I, I just got the Steel Book, which is gorgeous, which I splashed out because I love the game so much. Yeah, so um, you get the Steel Book with um, that version there that I got, and the Steel Book's fucking 
lovely. Absolutely lovely. Very, very nice. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep running. Very, 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 very nice. Big man moves and shit. Aye, big man moves. Just like you're kidding on that you're a joker. Calling forth your personas. Kicking fuck out of people in the street. Be like, you're a bad person. I'm gonna, ch I'm gonna change your heart. And you just curb stomp them. <laughs> Wearing your little Persona 5 mask. I've changed your heart. You got steel books, I haven't played it because I'd train it in to get royal. See that the the like the, the, the thing is right. So I've got Persona Five Vanilla and I've got Royal. I would never, I would never ever play Vanilla. Fuck it, let's just keep going. Yeah, I would never ever play Vanilla Persona Five now that I've played Royal. The changes that they add onto Royal are far too good. They're far too good. Play five minutes of P5 and now feel I, if I start it should uh, be Royal. Yeah. Royal's incredible. Definitely, it's definitely the best version of that game that you'll play. It's like once you've once you've played that one, it makes you think about some of the decisions that they had for five, and you go, "Why did they do that? That's silly. Why would they do that?" You know? Who has two thumbs and convinced this guy? But, uh, Persona 5 has been like legit, like, uh, that was my first ever Persona game, and it made me fall absolutely in love with them, um, with that series. And it's the best, best JRPG that I've played. In a very, very, very long time. Because after I played 5, I went and played 4. Um, I've got a bad boy Vita, and I went and downloaded Persona 4 Golden onto my bad boy Vita. And I played it, played that, and I was like, fucking hell, Persona 4 still lives up to this day. Like, it's still a great game to play. Well, for it being old, it still plays really well, should I say. you all 3 and 4. So I played, uh, so then after I completed 4, I was like, right, cool, I'll go and play um, 3. I'm fucking roasting, the heating's been on. I'm sitting here sweating like fuck. Um, so yeah, I went and acquired, acquired um, 3 on a device, should I say. And eh. Uh, I played it and like the story seems really fucking good. However, I'm not a big fan of the fatigue system in it. Anyway, I'm gonna go really quiet. We'll talk about Persona when I die. I can't seem to, I can't seem to get the best position, position, sorry, to keep an eye on both of them at the moment. Just can't seem to do it. But we'll keep at it. We've got 45 minutes left of the stream. Sanka, lucky egg. Right, Persona, right? So... Aye, so Persona 3, like, I fucked it off because um, I really, really did not like the um, fatigue system that's in it. I was like, oh, fuck me, man. I was like, this is dire shit, like, really, really dire shit. So um, I'm, I'm just hoping that they re-release Persona 3 
and they get rid of the the, the fatigue system. Uh, Chin Megami Tensei FE. Don't know what the FE stands for. The like festival or something like that. Uh, rules if you want something lighter that doesn't have the time pressure or persona, but with the ripping combat and oozing style. Nice one. Is that on? Am I right in saying that that's on the Switch? It's four worth playing if you've only done Royal. Or be too difficult to be going back. No, 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 no. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Um, because I went Persona Five to Persona Four. Um, like Persona Four seems to have like the right things that Persona Three did. Um, and they've taken out the fatigue system. Um, I Persona Four is fucking great. It's got some really good music. The characters are amazing. Uh, the story in general is. Maybe better than Persona 5, I think. On Switch now. Sweet, I need to look into that. You hear bad things about uh, TMS. Tokyo huh. Mirage Sessions, that's right, that's what that stands for. Maybe tops the style of Persona 5 and precedes it? That's, in that's, like, that's mad shit to say, because uh, to me, Persona 5 just oozes in style. Like, is like style just over the top, you know? Like, the aesthetics of the game, the menus, the music. It's everything about it is just very, very stylish, you know? What's the best game to start with if you've never played a Persona game? It would be Persona 5 Royal. Um, the, the thing to note with Persona games. Here we go. The thing to note with Persona games is that they are not, like, it's like Final Fantasy, basically. They're all their own separate stories, right? So you don't need to go, oh, I can't play Persona 5 because I haven't played Persona 4. Like, I won't know what the story is. Uh, you're fine with that. Like, they're all their own separate stories. Fucking hell, go electric for fucking beige, you cunt. I only think there's a couple of Persona games which carry on stuff. Um, what I did notice on my playthrough of Royal is that there is a lot of head nods towards Persona 4. Um, especially characters' names and stuff. Uh, when the characters appears in, in a poster as well. Um, which, the first time I played Persona 5, because it was the first time I ever played a Persona game, I was just like, alright, cool. And then I was like, oh. That's that character from 4. That's cool. And then, like, the poster's like, oh, fuck, that's that character from 4. Good shit. Hey, Spyro, how's it going? The DLC is huge. <laughs> it's not huge. It's not huge. This is the same area that we were on on Thursday. Same area. Same fucking area. But yeah, so definitely I would say if you can, fucking play Persona 5 Royal. Fucking great game. It's long though. Like I I don't give Persona 5 or Persona 5 Royal a 10 out of 10. They're not 10 out of 10 games for me because they're just far too fucking long. Oh yeah, I can't. They're just too long. I, I fucked that up again. I didn't put the fire on my sword. Anyway, I'm gonna go quiet, folks. That's fine. I knew that was gonna happen. Um, I feel like for Persona 3 movies, you can watch that gives you the story that you don't enjoy the gameplay. Persona 4 anime is pretty good. I, I didn't get much into the Persona 4 anime because I felt I might have been watching the wrong version 
Because I know that they've got... Yeah, is that Darth Maul? Is that Darth Maul? Um, is, that, is that Darth Maul? Uh, I'm done kissing that egg, by the way. That egg can fuck off. Um, fuck it. Stream Raiders, let's go over to it. We've got a lot of units this time. Oh, 80 odd units. Um, but yeah, so like I know with the Persona 4 anime, there's um, the Golden Edition and there's a Standard Edition. So I started watching the Golden Edition after I completed Golden. And I was like, they've sk they're skipping massive parts of the story. And I guess maybe it's like one of these things that's, I don't know, just like a quick version or something like that. I don't know. Like, introduction to the characters weren't there. They're like, they would just appear and you're like, right, they've not introduced this character, but that's them there anyway. Egg disrespect. No kissing that egg anymore. Um, Persona 5 anime is okay. Bugwell, you get yourself a b -b 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 bomber scroll. Fanatics, you get yourself a paladin scroll. Southie, you get yourself 15 gold coins. Don't you fucking spend them all at once. Or I'll be forced to fucking shite through your letterbox. Right, let's set this up. Got these fucking guys. It's a fucking rat. Rats. Uh, okay, from that corner, straight on. Um, yeah, so I, I need to I need to sit and watch the Persona Three movies because I can't be fucked playing that game with its with its mechanics. I just want to see what the story is because I heard the story is amazing. Look at my kills when you step up, but you're just a big mad murderer. Scientologist. You know what the buffs anymore? All those buffs. More buffs, please. There's two Persona 4 enemies. Oh, it's completely incoherent on its own. Right, cool. That's good to know. I might actually go and watch the, the bog standard. Uh, Persona 4 anime, anime then, because I was, I was like watching and being like, if you don't know what Persona 4 Golden is or what the story is, you're going to be really fucking confused. I he was talking about his buffs, because uh, Ken gets all the fucking, all the flag bearers out. Help assist, like assisting lad. Yeah, you, your your rogues, I think, absolutely slaughter everyone because they're so fast. They just run into everything and just absolutely annihilate everything. So good. Um, I but on the on the topic of like Persona and stuff, I've never ever played a Shin Megami Tensei game either. So I was really excited to hear that. Is it three is getting remade? I think it's three is getting remade. Um, I was like, oh fuck yeah, cool. I'll I'll jump on that because I've never played a SMT game. Right, we're still getting hunts. We're still getting these bastards at this point. I just want this area to be done with. I'm sick and tired of this. Oh, fuck off. Fuck off. Go away. Oh, it's like, at least if I can try and kill it so it might not spawn next time. I didn't even get that there. It's five, it's getting remade. Or is it three?
Uh, but in the original Persona 4, Maria isn't even a character, so you won't get her original anime. Alright, okay, okay. Yeah. I actually didn't, um, when I played Persona 5, I actually neglected Maria quite a bit. So I didn't actually get her story at all. I'm pretty, I'm like, so far, we're like, I always try and focus on like my party members and stuff. And I've, I very, very rarely focus on building up my relationship with like the, the wardens. SMTV is the new live one. <laughs> That's fucking good. <laughs> I should watch an SM TV and they just start doing mad persona shit. At least you get the plot through this completely white flat area yet again. Here it's my favourite Gary. Like in case you haven't noticed, I'm fucking I'm having the best best time right now. I'm having the best time. Uh, Sonic's Ring Kev is asking me a question, a very, very valid question as well, asking who is my Persona 4 waifu? A Persona 5 waifu is, um, it's, um, who is it? Well, in the game, I had a relationship with BC. I had a, a relationship with her. I would say second, second waifu, we say. Are you Team Chi? I, I think Y2 is a, is a Team Chi as well. What about outside the game? Who's my waifu? Like, what? My wife? <laughs> a lot of people with Team Chi. She, her character really annoyed me actually at the start of the game. I thought she was very, very irritating. Um, however, as time, oh you fucker, right, I, yeah, I should have waited. As time went, as time went on, I proper loved her character, she's fucking great. Yukiko, Yukiko was probably my second waifu. Like since here. What's that about second waifus? We're talking about the game Persona 4. Fixing. <laughs> my my lovely wife. In real in real life, you're my waifu for life. Dude. But we're talking about Persona 4. You just want a girl who can kick you into orbit? That's gonna be chi. She'll do that to you. She'll boot your boot your tits clean off. Proper I <laughs> uh, kick kick your dick off energy. Right, we're gonna get attacked by another uh reindeer here, aren't we? Hitting me there. Oh, yeah, it's a horse. Horses boot folk, don't they? We're gonna die. Ah! Better be talking about games, otherwise. Vixen, Vixen can most definitely kick fuck at me. <laughs> she can definitely kick fuck at me. Kick fuck at me any day. Anyway. Another one on the board for My Little Pony. It's fucking, it's, it's just endless. It's fucking endless, this fucking game. Men love that energy from video games, but when they get in real life, they run away. It's because they're posers. They're the fucking posers. Every every man needs a woman who can kick fuck at them. Yeah, you, unfortunately, Spiral, you just you're just you're getting with the the posers. Is he Jews? Blow that kind of kiss. I will please. most certainly get blow that kind of kiss. DW, Graham. <sighs> let that kiss go down the camera, let it go up in the air, may it find you, let it plant in the cheek, let it warm you up, let it give you a good old Monday, baby. 
Graham's gonna be my new lucky egg. I can't believe you're about to die into reindeer. It's fucking wild, man. This game. This DLC, by the way, is fucking me up. How many times have I died? 476 times. Fucking not on. I <laughs> just to this boss. Just to the reindeer. Died nearly 500 times just to the reindeer. And this is the easier DLC. Thing is, like, I will totally agree with you that the um, the overall area is probably the easiest. Um, definitely. But the bullshit area in this is just fucking way too much bullshit. Way too much bullshit. You found this run to be easier than the Smelter run? Smelter run was fucking easier. Smelter run was easier. It was fucking run. Fucking run. Sm I mean, the Smelter run was hellish. But this is just a piss take. Maybe I double dumped it. I was like, oh, I didn't mean to double dunt, but I think that double dunt actually saved me there. Get back! I've got two hanging up in my swings there. Fucking sit down. Please don't spawn another one. Please don't spawn another one. Let me please get to this landmark. I never was going to spawn in it. I think we're fine, actually. I think we're fine. You're shot as well? I might just be a fanny with this area. That little thing is. Working day is done. Here, congratulations on the working day being done. I don't know where that's going. Um, I just thought this way worse. Just, just can't get my, just, just can't deal with this area. I guess. You ran through this area once and got it done. You struggled with areas that I've walked through. I guess that's just like the fucking from soft thing, because like if you think about it, from when um, Sophie and I were doing uh, Bloodborne, if we look at that, right? See the bosses he struggled on. I fucking like done them in one one go, but then the bosses I struggled with, he done in his first go. So I, I, it's just like it's really, 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 really. I think it's interesting that people have. Boundary, like they have, they hit fucking brick walls where others like totally just walk, walk through it like it was nothing. It seems to be a big thing in the FromSoft games. Like, for example, right here, people were saying like this area was absolutely fine for them, and um, but they're they're seeing me quite clearly struggle like fuck. So, right, it's definitely fiery now. Let's go, folks. Let's try and do this. I'm going to try and be quiet again. Try and focus. Okay. Couldn't fucking see there, man. I want you to fuck off so I can heal. Or, or fart. Yeah, fart is good. Oh, 
Uh, I got greedy. I got very greedy there. I just wanted to get him killed. Couldn't see the other attack coming in. Especially the souls, where builds could be so varied. Some builds trivialize hard bosses, and the easy bosses could be a bitch. I say my difficulty zones tend to be somewhat aligned with Fizzy's, which is promising for Sekiro. Right, let's go back again. Fucking hell, we've got less than half an hour left. I can see this going over to tomorrow's stream. This fucking area. I've not played Sekiro, he'll get the fear like he did in Bloodborne. This is a run. Thank you very much for being fucking... for believing in me. <laughs> uh, I hope this is a run. I fucking hope this is a run. Are these fucking items lying there? That boy left behind. Fucking jabroni. Straight on. <laughs> Red. Those frigid outskirts need a good shagging. Too frigid. I think it's like the frigid outskirts have give, they've given me a big bad shagging. If you don't do this, you'll be cursed with the runs. I don't. As in, like, who runs? As in, like, Jobby's coming at me. Hope not. At least I'm geared up for that. I've got a Japanese toilet which squishes my bum, so... I get looked after. My anus is well looked after in this household. Look at this guy having a bad time. I fucking feel your pain, brother. The Jobby runs. I don't want Jobby runs. Don't want Jobby runs. Right, we'll wait after this, no. There's a few bosses in Sekiro that'll probably take at least a full stream, but none of them should be much more than that. It's gonna be good once I get the um, Soulsborne done. <laughs> and we can just like play games start to finish without having big massive walls put in the in the way. The runny jobbies. Don't want runny jobbies. Runny jobbies are bad. Runny jobbies, or which sometimes I like to call them the skitters. You don't want the skitters, folks. Here we go. It's a horse time. Absolutely horse time. Okay, I follows further back, but that's fine. Where are you going? Why are you just fucking prancing about like a horse? <laughs> The horse bastard. Right, I need to get to this landmark because I don't want another one spawning. <sighs> no, well, let's heal. What's the point? What's the, <laughs> What's the fucking point? Fuck off, man. Heal your cunt. Drink your lull. Get your lull in your mouth. Definitely putting up my shield has been the best thing for these cunts. For that charging attack, because I'm shite at dodging it. Stamina back. Kill the big lad. Imagine a horse up here. I mean, it's happened before. It's happened before. Those horses get about. Right, can we fucking try this again, folks? Can we can we get this boss killed? Fuck's sake, man. Fucking game. <laughs> this is the hardest fucking thing I've done. I 
don't know what's hard. I'm like, I'm trying to think now. What was what's harder, Orphan of Cause or the Frigid Outskirts? I think the Frigid Outskirts has been more uh, annoying. Because at least with like Orphan, it was like a nice little run up to the boss. Wasn't anything too bad. The mu fucking hell, my right. I'm telling you, folks, my controller's trying to fucking kill me. My, co my controller. I know it's. I know it's October. And it's all, it's all spooky season and stuff, but I legit think that my controller is haunted. It's got a poltergeist in it. Cunt. Controller. Listen to these fucking cats going fucking nuts. Right. Controller. Fucking controller. Imagine a mod fighting cause in the frigid outskirts. Kev, don't say things like that to me because I'll over visualize it and then I'll get really, really upset. That was not, I mean, it was not the run. It's mad, we're now getting killed by the first fucking tiger instead of the second one. I need to. Um, Help my prostate or something, get my heat in the game. Boss randomizer that swaps these lads for Orphan and Ludwig. <laughs> oh no. Ugh, that sounds sick. Be your mind. Put yourself on a tilt a bit. Yeah, I think I'm. I need the uh, positivity. Positivity, folks. Positivity, I think, is what I need. Fine. Have you tried having a Kit Kat? I haven't, and I can't even have a Kit Kat because I'm not vegan. The world is doomed for me, man. It's doomed. It's fucking doomed. There's no joy left. <laughs> no joy left. What? Aye, how? What, how can I not have a Kit Kat? Because they've got chocolate in it. Or are you asking how am I vegan? Yeah, milk chocolate. It's got milk in it, so I don't fucking, I don't, I don't, I don't swing that way, bro. That's a good run, though. Right into the fucking doorway. Almost like I've done this about a billion times. <laughs> right, well, let the let the fucking snow fucking go. Do, do they not do vegan ones? Not that I'm aware of. Someone did mention dark chocolate ones, though. Ah, uh, Davy, yeah. I might need to look out for dark chocolate Kit Kats. Uh, Cause I fucking love Kit Kats. Kit Kats are good. Especially, oh man. I'm just thinking about things I can't have now. Like a peanut butter fucking Kit Kat chunky. Loveliness. It's fucking gourmet dining right there, folks. Kit dark Kit Kat isn't vegan ever fucking. The world's gone to shit. Fuck off, jobber. How does the dark chocolate ones have dairy in them? Is it something to do with the wafer? The wafer. Oh, fuck. I was kind of hoping there was no more reindeer. I need to get to this landmark. I like how the job are still chased after me though. Too close. 
Remember when we had like over 99 life gems? Remember that was a thing. Where did they all go? Oh, I need to watch it for that jobber, don't I? There you go. Jobber done. Oh, that wee guy's gone now. Not a part of our life anymore. Right, I'll wait for the next time. I'll go the next time. <laughs> well, shit, I'm officially out of advice then. Get Kate the light, let the chocolate off. I think, I think chocolate's really bad for cats as well. I think it's very much like dog, maybe not as poisonous to dogs as what it is to cats. I think chocolate's pretty bad for them. And the reason I could be fucked going full vegan, too much pain in the arse with silly things like that. It's a pain, it is a fucking pain in the arse. You get used to it though. You get, you get very used to picking up your favourite things in the supermarket, looking at the back of the the packet for ingredients and seeing it has milk in it and then being massively disappointed. You get used to that. And then it gets to the point where like, I can't eat that anymore. There's no point in looking at it anymore. You get used to it. We've only got two charcoal pine resins left, folks. I'm so scared about going over this bridge with my fucking controller being the way it is. This fucking controller. I'm, I'm sure I could get used to getting punched in the face every day. Ah, you get used to it. You just get used to not enjoying the things that you used to enjoy. <laughs> but it's for the fucking the greater good though, isn't it? So for the greater good. Oh, interested in doing it this way. That delay swipe. That delay swipe again really fucks me up. Shit, we need to get away from that. Delay swipe again! Surely if you learn by now, fuck it. I thought he was going back to do the... I thought he was going back to fart. Or I thought he was going to go back to do the... Javelins. Ten minutes, we got ten minutes until this is just another stream of this fucking area. <sighs> Folks. I mean it's getting easier. It's getting easier, we're getting we're getting there. We're getting to the boss like almost every time. See Simon Howie vegetarian breakfast packs fucking outstanding. Yeah, they're fucking they're good. Like I'm not actually a big fan of the vegan square sausage. Um, there's better vegan square sausage out there, folks. So there's a um, there's a there's a cafe in Glasgow called Brooklyn. Uh, I think it's called Brooklyn Cafe. Um, they make their own vegan square sausage, and you can you can legit walk in and just ask them. But you can buy it like uh, pre cooked. No, not pre cooked. You can buy it uncooked. From them, and they'll give you it in a big, massive, like, big block. It's fucking well good. It's been entertaining though, and if you weren't in this area, you wouldn't have seen the invader getting taken out by the horse. That is very true. Silver linings, folks. Fucking, like, you're a fucking game. 
Richmond vegan sausages are amazing. They are amazing. They're the fucking. They're the. They are the business. Um. Aye, you're fucking. If anyone's in Glasgow and stuff, and they they're fairly close by the Brooklyn Cafe, um. Get yourselves along, and they like I say, they do sell, um, big fucking blocks of vegan square sausage. And their their square square sausage is about a billion times better than the Simon Halley, the Simon Howie stuff. Um, about a billion times better. Fucking incredible. Like um, we bought like a block of it to give to um, pal uh, Ross and Jack because they they were housing ants from uh, the the band from Germany. They were housing ants when they're over, and a bunch of them are vegan. And they wanted to try Scottish food and stuff, so we're like, oh, we'll get them in, like, a big block of vegan square sausage and they can have that. And they fucking loved it. Sucked up big time. It's battle time, peeps. Battle time, but we need to wait. We need to wait till we get fucking finger blasted by another reindeer. Oh, that fucking Scientology is the vegan food that you had at the weekend there. Looked amazing. Here, I think we're done with folks. I think we're done, folks. We have we have cleared out this area. We we're, there's no more reindeer if we follow the route that we take. Also, we may as well just start a fucking fight here, eh? We may as well we're safe. Aye, the the boys and ants fucking loved the square sausage. I already have a vegan range and their sausage rolls are worth picking up. Tastes like normal, more seasoned sausage rolls. I think... Am I right in thinking that I've had some of that? I think I might off. I think they were banging. We don't shop at Aldi too, too often because there's not one close by us, which sucks. Congratulations, progress here! It's fucking... It's, it's, it's looking good. It's looking good, folks. Oh wow, look at this! We've got so many people, we're getting multiple things. Scottish Spiral, Nailer Ben, you get yourselves three Warrior Scrolls. Fanatics, Rory, you get yourself buh buh Buster Scrolls. No, only one. Jimron, you get yourself a Tank Scroll, we get three of them. Fucking hell. Don't spend them all at once, you filthy animals. I just seen chat there and there was a mention of fucking two front doors. Two front door people don't go to <laughs> <laughs> uh, you bastard. I don't have I don't have two front doors. I've only got one front door. Yaldi, there's my Scottish based joke for you, Scientologist. You, you, you can come back to the stream. You you're welcome back, friend. You do you you do though. Selfie was saying the other night that um he was like, Oh I was around your house the other day, but no one answered. I he was like I was I was I was knocking on uh the door on the left. <laughs> it's like, is it the door on the right that I'm supposed to knock or is it the door on the left? I was like, you're a fucking prick. Uh, if Izzy knows all about the Waitrose vegan range, I'm sure I fucking do not. I fucking do not. You can take that back. Fucking Waitrose. Bunch of fucking Tory bastards. <laughs> scum. Fucking scum. Fucking, I'm gonna drop my wife in it here. I'm gonna drop my wife in it. Um, so when when she was actually going to work and not in a COVID world, um, she's like, oh, I keep spending quite a lot of money on my lunches and stuff. So I need to take, I need to start taking stuff in. Ah, that's a good idea. And then it dawned on me, it's like, you no, know, why is it costing you so much fucking money? Cause you keep going to fucking waitros. You keep going to fucking waitros. No wonder you're spending a bomb. Fucking buying shit from Waitrose. Anyway, I need to kill these cats. Uh, I think I dodged that. I think you find I dodged that. Oh, delayed attack nearly got me. Right, this is good. I can see them. 
Oh, maybe not. This is not that good. I mean, that's actually fine. Getting hit by one of them is better than getting... Fuck, man. We need to heal the fuck up. What am I fucking supposed to do here? This is bullshit. Did I take like four sips? Did I take like four sips there? I don't even know which one's the weaker one. Fuck off, it wasn't even that one. I think I took about fucking 20 sips there. At least three. I wanted only to do two, but I like spammed it way too much. Fucking hell, we've got four minutes left of this stream. And there's been fuck all done besides dying. 29 truck chugs. Did I hit my death counter there? I think I did. Do big cakes smash you up for Christmas? That's Christmas, baby. I thought you were just rage chugging. I know I was trying to do two chugs. Two chugs! Um, I was, yeah, I was trying to do two chugs. But um, it was not to be. At least I know. At least I know that our runs now are fairly. Um, Reindeerless. 480 is correct. See, when you say the number, it's a little worse when you look at it than, than just looking at it. Don't pick them up. Like, looking at it, you're like, ah, that's quite a lot. But when you say 480, you're like, ah, that's a lot. That's, a more, that's, a, that's more than a lot. I can't believe we got rid of all the reindeer though. Fucking good. I can't believe like one of our first first attempts today was one that we nearly done it. But we ran out of Estus. Fucking bastards. Fucking bastards. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Fucking... Are you fucking kidding me? It's gotta be Boris Johnson! Boris Johnson's back! Boris Johnson's back, folks. A jobber nearly killed me. You know what? We may as well just let him kill us. We may as well let him kill us. Big Boris Johnson to end the stream. Right. We're going to have one last run to the boss, folks, for today. We're going to have one last run. Um, but I'm going to burn an effigy because I don't want to get invaded by Boris Johnson again. One more go! That's a podcast. It should come back. Uh, let's actually take an effigy as well. I fucking missed one more go. That was a good podcast. Bojo's cameo. I mean, uh, when it comes to playing Among Us, he is definitely Boris Johnson. Imagine that was imagine that was Cami all this time. Faster. Or Trev. This is for Trev. This is for Trev. Bojo has to be a viewer, right? I think Bojo is a viewer. Um, because see when Bojo started appearing, um, remember the first time that Bojo started appearing, there was a, a guy who was new to the stream and the first thing he asked was to see my stats. Don't know if you remember that. Um, and I was like, you know, you're not going to see my stats because I know what's going to happen. Fucking hell, we went really the wrong way there. Um... And he asked if I was British, and I was like, no, I'm, I'm not British, I'm Scottish. And then he said he's from Africa, which I think was, a, was which was bullshit. I don't think the dude's from Africa at all. Get your stats out for the boys. Um, aye. Whoever that boy was, I think that's it. Sometimes their quality, though, like Kababi, 
has yeah. I mean, you do get you do get people who come in and go kind of see your stats and stuff who are absolute cunts, and then you get folk who come in and they're absolutely lovely, like Kebabi. But well, Kebabi, I don't think ever went. Oh, can I see your stats like straight away? Um, no, really, I am from Africa. Well, it wasn't you. It said that you were from Africa. At is this fucking boy who it was? I don't know who it was. Right. I'm fairly certain that there's no reindeer left. We just keep running. But no, there's been a lot. There's been actually quite a few right, really, really nice people in my time of playing Dark Souls 2 have come by. Um, Liam hasn't been here for a while. Um, Liam, who used to invade us all the time. I hope he's okay. Um, but they were they were funny invasions. He he wasn't going out to like fucking make it a hellish experience or anything like. That. He kind of added to the the fun of the stream and stuff. I'll wait for the snow to fuck off. Yeah, Liam Liam was a really really fun invader. Like Boris Johnson hasn't been a fun one. He's quite clearly just griefing folk. Um, that guy there invaded us at the start of the stream. Seems to be a hacker, so we need to watch out for that. Nice little break sometimes. Oh yeah, totally. Kebabi came in swinging with decent takeaway tips and tricks, so he gets a pass. That's true, Kebabi came in, dropped off some fucking kebab lore, which is always appreciated in this stream. Um, he showed us all a picture of his son, uh, who was currently, who was power stancing in the photo. Great stuff. Fucking lovely stuff. Kebabi was... Yeah, Babby's one of us, right? A good cunt. Not enough invaders pretending to be barrels. See that fucking... Honestly, I've never had a fright like it in my life. Well, I have, but... It's been a long time since I've ever had a big fright like that. Until that fucking NPC disguises the barrel. That fucking ruined me. It gave me big, big, uh, big vibes of when you invaded me, Jimron, during uh, Bloodborne. And you were disguised as a messenger. Wait till Dark Souls 3 invasions. Don't fucking say things like that. Right, we don't have any pine resin anymore. Wait, was there a fucking... I think there was a reindeer behind me there. Right, here we go, folks. This is the last one of the day. Yeah, it's off that bad stuff. Double swing. Faster. I need a heal. But I need space to heal. Here's space. Oh fuck, I wasn't paying attention there. I was too busy looking at my items. Myself right in the middle of both of them. Ah! And that's us done for today, folks. And that's us done for today. No more. I'll have another rest on it, and tomorrow we'll go in and we'll fuck them up the first go. You died. They're good emotes. Good emotes are those? They're fucking good. Fucking hell, man. Nah, this area is a fucking bastard. Thanks for the stream, mate. Nah, no worries. 
it has been fun. Although I have been getting <sighs> my asshole. Why are your video games so hard? <laughs> at this rate, the death count would be end up at 1,312. Not good, folks. Not good. Uh, right, where are we? What's 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 fun? That's the fucking script here, eh? Did I completely close out of Stream Raiders? Some fucking weirdo. Not Stream Raiders. Pray so. Uh, I'm away at work tomorrow, so it could be if you could struggle in this whole stream, I'd appreciate it. I don't, I don't know if I have it in me to struggle again like we have, like we fucking have. That was fucking such so, such a hard area. Like the things like I'm I'm grateful for is the fact that the um the reindeers aren't spawning in now because we've killed them so many times. I'm fucking so thankful for that. It just means like I can just run to the boss. It takes a bit of time running to the boss. That's the only thing. But when we get to the boss, it's, it's a pure just the boss fight, um, which hopefully is, means it's gonna be better. Hopefully it's gonna be better. Oh, but that's just for another day. It's mad how you can spend three hours on that and it's went by like that fucking quick, really fucking quick. Um, Hey, one of those fucking ones. Well, thank you very much anyway, everyone, for coming round, though. Fucking good. It's been a lot of years in here as well. It's been a lot of years in here watching me die to the same fucking things over and over again. Um, but what we're going to do is we'll do a little bit of a, um, a wee bit of a raid. Um, we're going to go and raid the lovely Mike Paul Vox. Um... They're streaming a game called Radical Relocation, which I have no idea what the fuck that is, but it's nice and colourful, it looks lovely. Uh, also, we have the lovely Mike Paul Vox to go and see to anyway, so be lovely. You come here for you come for consistency here. If anything, the stream today has been very, very consistent on deaths. So look at you got what you wanted. You got what you wanted. But yeah, so tomorrow we will be back. We'll be back again at the usual time, two o'clock British summer time, for more Dark Souls 2 DLC 3, which I thought I thought by now Dark Souls 2 would have been finished. Um this DLC has been kicking my cunt in. The thing is like we still haven't even finished the DLC. We've got stuff to do after this. We need we need to find all the boys. I don't even know where the boys are. Hope the boys are where I am. Fucking fingers crossed anyway. Um so aye, I'm going to love yous and leave yous. I'm going to pass you over to the lovely Mike Paul Vox. I'm away to go and get my dindins. I'm going to be around the chat for a wee bit. And uh, I'll, bo I'll boost. The guy that came in at 5pm wasn't feeling good when I turned up earlier. He could have helped me cheer up. Oh, sorry, man. I'm going to pass a lot of good vibes over to you, pal. Hope that your evening's good and you have a lovely one. Uh, Mike Paul Vox might be able to cheer you up. So stay safe. Keep warm. And remember, if you ain't fizzing, you ain't jizzing. See you tomorrow, folks. Hopefully we'll kill some fucking cats tomorrow, eh? See you later.